Mm. St. Patrick's Day is Sunday. Pick some is Ben Aaron getting in the spirit already by learning some Irish step dancing. Yeah, Ben gets his groove on at Denagla Academy, an Irish dancing place in New Jersey. This has always fascinated me. Irish dance, all lower body and the top remains still. Total synchronicity amongst the group. Movement combinations that when called out sound like stamp out when to kick, kick, double tip two three. But the visuals are just half the beauty of this dance. What really takes you back is the sound that erupts when they're doing it. And today, we spend time with a crew that has bred champion after champion, the Nagla Academy of Irish Dance, and two instructors named KK and Emily. Oh, and of course, they're students. I'm feeling a lot of warmth behind me right now. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about the Nagla Academy for Irish Dance. So the Nagla Academy of Irish Dance was established 30 years ago by my mom, Allison, and my aunt, Jen. We are competitive. We compete at the state level, regional level, national level and the World Championships, which are Easter week. So we have 38 dancers competing in Montreal this Easter. So is it like all ages, genders, like who's, who's allowed to start dancing here? The youngest age group is um, under 11. So kids that are 10 to 11 years old, all the way through senior ladies and senior men. So people all the way up through like 30 years old. So I'd be a senior. Super senior. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a question. Why in Irish dance can you only move the bottom part of your body and not the top? There's many theories, but we believe that it came from the Celts and the Druids, and it started with their folk dancing. And then when Christianity came to Ireland, um, for some reason they weren't allowed to maybe dance, and that, you know, when someone would pass like a window or something, that they wouldn't see their top half moving, but their bottom, you know, their legs were still going. It's like a mullet. Up top, it's business, and below the waist, it's the party. Yes. Yeah. How long can I stand like this for? With you here, probably a long time. Really? <laughs> You're doing great. You all right? I'm pretty. You feeling all right? Okay. You look a little gassy. You OK? <laughs> like, forget Peloton. You do Irish dance. <laughs> That's how you get in shape. How long did it take you to learn it? Oh, years. I'm still questioning myself on things. Really? But I've been dancing for 13 years. My parents both Irish danced growing up, and they signed me up when I was four years old, and I've just continued ever since. And you love it? I love it. How did you start getting into this type of dance? Uh, well, I have older siblings, and my sister, she's um, six years older than me, so she did it before me. So when I was born, my mom my mom did it because my sister did it. Oh. So we all did it. Did your mom do it while she was pregnant with you, and that's how you got into it? <laughs> Don't you ever just want to use your hands, though? Don't you ever want to do this? <laughs> kind of, but your um, dress is kind of stiff. Do you find it unusual because a lot of your friends are probably doing other things and you're like, oh, I have Irish dance. Is it always yeah. something that's very unusual to be like, oh, this is this is what I do on my off time? Yeah, it is unusual to say that. Like, people are like, what do you mean? And I'm like, I have dance class, like Irish dance. In middle your school. middle school, when the, like, the math teacher is yapping away, do you just get up and start Irish dancing in the middle of it all? No. No, sometimes oh. under my desk, but I don't stand up. Oh man, stand up. There are a lot of injuries in Irish dance. So many. It, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 like way too many. Yeah. Was it knees, ankles? Like what usually? Knees, knees, ankles, hips, shin splints. Yeah. Uh, Achilles. Everything yeah. below the waist. Yeah. Much. Do the guys do different dance moves than the women? How does that work? Some dance moves, very little. We usually share the same dance moves. Like people ask me all the time, like, can you Irish dance for me? And I'll yeah. be like, sure. Really? Yeah. Just on cue. Sure. Do you charge them? You should. I should. Is there like a dance battle? Do you like battle somebody in, the, in a circle? <laughs> Let a smack talk? Uh, maybe, maybe backstage there's a little <laughs> smack talk. <laughs> but while speaking with these kids, I soon realized that many of them were actually champions, which is a huge deal. Hence, the size of the trophy they give you. You can, like, if you get, like, other prizes, you can, like, hold the bowl and you can put them in there so you don't have to carry more. You can, like, <laughs> put it in the bowl, like. It's half of you. <laughs> and now it's time for me to experience this craft. Learn Irish dance and its highly coordinated moves as a highly uncoordinated person. Is this the pose? This is how we start. Our right foot in front. We call it champion position. It's like holding in pee-pee. That's even a thing? 
He's improvising. He's I just want to learn that. A front click? A, fl a front click. Perfect. Let's do it all together. Go out and come back down with the right foot like this. And now bend. I, I almost hit the ceiling. Thank you. In my own world, I was actually getting the hang of it. So much so that the gals presented me with something very special. Thank you, thank you. So here's to hundreds of years of tradition still going strong. To the next generation of dancers, pushing through tears and poles to keep this incredible movement alive and well. From the pastures and streets of Ireland to right here in a quaint studio in New Jersey.